Hello, Journey Junkie Tribe. Hello, yoga community, and welcome back to the yoga mat with me. Today, I'm coming to you from Sankalpa Yoga Studio located in Grenada, where many of you know my husband and I are living on a sailboat. We're actually leaving next week, so we might be bringing you classes from a new studio soon. Okay, let's talk about today's yoga class. I'm really excited to bring it to you. It is a Hatha yoga class that's focusing on eagle pose to foster clarity in your life. So if you are a fan of the chakra system and studying it, Eagle Pose is a posture that falls under our third eye chakra, located right here, the center between the brows. It's also called Ajna. This energetic center is responsible for intuition, clarity, imagination, and understanding. So why is that important to you? Well. This energetic center is helpful when we need to process our goals and our thoughts and ideas and bring them down the manifestation channel to the earth plane and into reality. So if you're feeling a little bit stuck, like you have a lot of ideas and thoughts and goals that are spinning in your universe, but you're having trouble bringing them further down, then this is a great practice to help you clear away the clutter and foster that clarity that I was talking about, okay? So this practice, Eagle Pose, is a twisting posture. We will be doing twists throughout the practice. If at any time you have low back discomfort, I give you full permission to modify and do a different variation. And also if you're someone that you know you are uh, predispositioned to that discomfort, do some core strengthening right before you get on the mat with me. It'll really help fire up that internal awareness so you twist with your core engaged. Okay, I think that lays down the foundation for our eagle practice today. With all of that said, please unroll your yoga mat and meet me lying down on your back. Okay, we are lying on our backs. You might think we're starting in Shavasana, but no, we're gonna take a supine twist. So bend the knees, plant the feet on the ground, take your right leg, cross it over your left, and allow your legs to fall over to the left side of your mat. Your right arm is gonna extend out straight. And from your right fingertips all the way up to your shoulder where you feel that stretch along the front side, your chest area, allow that stretch to go all the way down your right side body. Down into the hip, all the way down to the knee. Breathe with me for three. Next inhale, bring awareness to your core and bring the legs back up through center. Cross the left leg over the right this time and let your legs fall on over to the right. Letting the left arm extend out to the side and same, same. So the awareness goes from the left fingertips up through the arm, across the chest, down the side body to the hip and all the way to the left knee. Take three deep belly breaths. Awareness to the core center. Bring the legs back up through center. And you're not going to like me right now, but let's bring some of that fire into the core like I was talking about in the introduction. So we're coming into eagle crunches. If you can, bring the legs into a full eagle wrap so the left toes come underneath the right ankle. From here, we're going to bring the right arm underneath the left arm. Back of the hands can touch, or if you can bring it all the way around, palms touch. On an inhale breath, we'll lift up, connect elbows to the knees, 
hug the core deeply into itself. On an exhale, we'll reach and extend and come to a hover. All right, we've got 10. Here we go, inhale breath, lift up. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hover. Core is active. Last one. And hover. Release and rewrap everything up, but opposite side. So right leg comes on top, left arm underneath. This time we'll switch up the breath. We'll come up on an exhale and we'll extend on an inhale. So inhale breath, exhale, lift elbows to knees, inhale, open, exhale, lift, inhale, open, exhale, lift, two more, inhale, open, exhale, hug it in, inhale, open, Exhale, hug it in and release. Bring yourself into a ball, hands behind the thighs. Relax down for a moment. <sighs> when you're ready, start to rock forward and back. If your spine does not like this, fall over onto your side and meet us in a tabletop position. So some days I like this, some days I don't. You always have permission to do something different each time you get on your mat, right? Because each time your body is different. Coming into a tabletop position, stacking shoulders over the wrists, knees underneath the hips, gaze forward, extend your left leg right back behind you, preparing for sunbird, chakra vakasana. And lately I've been liking to bring my right hand underneath my body and seeing if my hips are squared off. Yeah? All righty. Energize this back leg. So feel your hamstring and your glute engage. Reach your right hand forward. Gaze slightly in front of you. Five breaths. Awareness in the core center. Push the ground away. One more breath. Exhale, release. One round of cat cow. Inhale, drop that belly, lift the tail. Collarbone spreads. Exhale, push the ground away as you round the back. Release the tailbone, head and neck. Come back to neutral. Extend that right leg back this time. And as you lift the leg up, Bring your awareness to your hips, right? We're trying to create that squared off sensation so we're not hiking and opening the hip, right? All righty, once you get there, core hugs up and in. Reach the left fingertips forward, five breaths. You can visualize that you are seeing out of your third eye in every posture we do today. Really tuning that ability to understand, to imagine, to tap into your intuition. One more breath. Exhale the left hand down, knee comes down. Meet me in downward facing dog. Curl your toes under, fingers spread wide. And as you send the sits bones back and high, you also let the chest melt to the tops of the thighs. Let all of those posture cues sink in. Breathe.
couple more breaths. Any movements you need to make, they are welcomed into your body, onto the mat. All right, inhale that right leg up to the sky, bend the knee, allow the hip to open. If you know that you are very flexible in the lower back and the lumbar spine, firm up your core here as you send the knee higher. Big inhale, listen up. Exhale that right knee across the body and to the left elbow. Get it there. Take it back, open the knee up towards the sky. Exhale across the body again, left elbow. Take it back one more time. Knee opens and knee comes to the left elbow. This time take it back, square the hips off. So right leg goes straight back. Exhale, knee to the nose, gaze forward. Plant the right foot. We're rising up into crescent pose. So really take your time. Check in with your back leg. Is it supporting you? As you energize through that leg, push down through the front foot, rise up with the body, with the upper body. Reach those fingertips high. Once you feel rooted, Right arm underneath the left, eagle arms, wrap it up. Elbows coming in line with the shoulders. We're sending the hands away from the face. Feel the broadness in your upper back. Three breaths. All right, spill all of your weight forward into the right leg. We're coming up into Virabhadrasana 3. Take your time. Use your third eye to lock eyes with a focal point, a drishti, and rise up into warrior 3. Reach through your eagle arms. Just like in Sunbird, check in with your hips. Are they square? Three breaths. Last inhale, exhale, left knee behind right for Kundalini's descent, three breaths. Last inhale, exhale, release Tadasana. Whew. Hello, right leg, right? All right, mountain pose. Feel all four corners of your feet. Ground down, let the earth rise up into your legs. Firm the core, stretch the heart open. Take a moment, check in with that space of clarity, your third eye chakra. All right, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Gaze up at your fingertips as they reach the sky. Exhale to forward fold, Uttanasana. Take your time as you lower the body down, relax head and neck. Inhale, lift up halfway, hands to shins, block or floor. Broaden through the collarbone. Exhale, step back, plank. You choose, you can lower down to Chaturanga, you can come with me all the way to the belly. Once you get there, rise up, Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Maybe you're an upward facing dog. Upper arms roll outward. We push the earth away. Lower down. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. Take a few breaths. So camel pose, or sorry, eagle pose, Garudasana. 
It's a beautiful posture to detoxify the body, promote digestion, circulation, strengthen the legs, open the upper back. And then emotionally and mentally, it's great for everything we were talking about, clarity, understanding, imagination. So we're gonna get to the peak pose soon, but keep your eye on all of those focus points, okay? All right, here we go. Inhale that left leg high to the sky, bend the knee, open the hip. Okay, another inhale. Exhale, knee comes across the body, right tricep, right elbow. See if you can get it there. Take it back, reach that knee high, open the hip. Take it again across the body, elbow or tricep. One more time. Knee to tricep across the body. This time take it back and high. Nice square hips, long left leg. Exhale, knee to nose, gaze forward. Plant the left foot, prepare for crescent pose. Take your time, just like we did last time. Back leg energizes, front foot pushes down. With all of that energy, we can sweep our body up, reach the fingertips high. And the left arm comes underneath the right. Wrap up. Bring those elbows in line with the shoulders. Send the hands away from you. Three breaths. Okay, just like an eagle takes flight, gaze forward. Find that drishti point, spill all of your weight into the front leg. Rise up, warrior three. You have energy coursing from that back leg all the way up to the fingertips. Your standing leg is your support system. One more breath. Exhale, right knee behind left, kundalini descent. Stick with me. And unwind the body. Meet me in Tadasana. Stay here for a moment. Find all four corners of your feet again. And close your eyes. Tune into your breath. See if that breath combined with this movement is helping you to declutter. Create spaciousness within the body, the mind, and the soul so that whatever it is you're reaching for, you can do so with clarity conviction, and connection. All right, open your eyes. Let's come into some balancing and then into eagle pose. So starting on the right leg, let's come into uh, vrikshasana, tree pose. So find all four corners of that right foot, stabilize the right leg, gaze forward, and you choose. Left ankle, sole the foot at the ankle, at the shin calf area or all the way up into the inner thigh, okay? Not on the knee joint. Once you get here, send that left knee out as you firm up through the core and lift through the chest. Hands at heart center. We're here for five breaths. This is a beautiful posture to create the foundation so that we can fly in eagle pose, Garudasana.
Last breath. All right, start to cross this left leg over the right as you bend the right leg and find eagle pose. So find that wrapped leg. You choose, you can bring the foot all the way around or do a half bind, okay? Once you feel like you're settled, bring the left, the right arm underneath. There we go. And find eagle arms again. Remember, elbows in line with the shoulders. Send the hands away from you. Feel the broadness in your upper back as you hug into the midline like you're wringing out a wet washcloth. Breathe here. We got five breaths together. Last inhale, exhale. On the inhale, unwind and open up, fly, ha. Okay, other side, tree pose on the left, setting up for Vrikshasana, anchor down through all four corners of the left foot, feel your left leg firm up. You choose where your tree is being planted, so where the sole of the foot is resting. Once you get there, Send that right knee further out. Lift up through your leg and your core. Hands at heart center. Five breaths, build the foundation. Another inhale, exhale, make your way into Garudasana, the right leg is crossing over, you're choosing your version of the bind, then the left arm is coming underneath, wrap it up, hug into the midline as you breathe into the backside body. Your legs are your pillars, let them support you, five breaths. Last inhale, unwind, open up, fly. <sighs> All right, top of the mat, let's move through a vinyasa and bring it down to the ground. Sweep those arms out to the side, up overhead, reach as if you're flying towards your goals, dreams, thoughts, ideas, right, with a clear vision. Exhale, fold into that. And just take a moment, let's pause here for three breaths in your Uttanasana, forward fold. Head and neck are heavy. See if you can let all of that clutter just spill out of your body. All righty, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, move through your variation of a vinyasa. Chaturanga, up dog, all the way to the belly. You choose cobra pose, maybe locust pose. Once you get to downward facing dog, take one big breath with me. Open the mouth, exhale. <sighs> Alrighty, inhale to gaze forward. We're meeting one another on our backs. If you want to jump through and play, you can. Otherwise, meet me there. Okay, I have to admit, the jump through I just did. <laughs> 
weak sauce. So I'm gonna try it again if you wanna come with me. Sometimes when jump, you do jump throughs, it's more confidence than strength, right? All right, that's a little bit better. Okay, settle in on your back, lay down. All right, we're coming into Supta Gomukhasana. So cross the right knee over the left. Bring the knees towards the chest. Send the heels towards the face as much as you can. Lift yourself up and grab the outsides of your ankles. If this is too much, you can grab anywhere on the leg, okay? If you can, if you have it in your body, start to lower back down. If you're very mobile, you can bring the legs even closer to the chest. We're finding that outer stretch in the hips here. Take five breaths as you sink the shoulders and gently hug the knees closer to the chest. Last breath. Exhale to release the hands and let the legs fall over to the left side of the mat, coming into that bound up supine twist again. Right arm extends out to the side, exactly how we began. And gentle core engagement, bring everything back up through to center. Uncross to recross, left knee on top, lift the chest up, grab the outside of the feet for Supta Gomukhasana. Once you've got where you're gonna grip, slowly lower the torso back down. And something I like to think about in this posture is the four corners of my torso, so shoulder, shoulder, hip, hip. And imagine that you are rooting down through all four corners, just like a fitted sheet covers a mattress. So imagine the four corners of your torso being like that fitted sheet connecting to the earth. Let's take five breaths with that intention. And release the legs, let the, let the entire knee package fall over to the right for that supine twist. And the left hand extends out to the side.
Gentle core engagement, bring the legs back up through center. And now option to extend the body out and open for Shavasana, or option to come up to a seated position, cross-legged, and take a moment in silence with me, okay? So Ajna, the sixth chakra, is located in the head. It's one of our upper chakras. It's very associated with stillness, concentration, and meditation. So this is a really great way to seal this practice and focus all of our movement and breath work into this energetic space, okay? So as we sit and breathe together, I want you to remember these words, clarity, imagination, intuition, and understanding. Use your third eye to see through the clutter and come to that space. If your eyes aren't closed yet, please close them and join me. We'll be here for about a minute. Settle in to the stillness. Lift the corners of your mouth towards your ears. Bring a big smile to your face. Invite yourself back into the present moment. On an inhale breath, sweep your arms out to the side. Gather up the energy we created on the mat here today. Palms touch. Exhale them down through heart center. We'll close with the unifying vibration of Om, which is also the Bija mantra for the Ajna chakra. 
Here we go. Big inhale to prepare. Oh. Open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me on the yoga mat today. This is the perfect time to grab your journal and your pen and just word vomit about the clarity that you're experiencing right now and what you've allowed to declutter from your body, mind, and soul and the space that you've created to welcome new opportunities, goals, thoughts, ideas, and dreams in. As always, thank you so much for joining me. If you are not part of our online yoga community yet, please come join us. We are waiting for you. You can click the link in the description below to come join us. I'll meet you back here on the mat, ready to live our journey.